Operating or owing an executive aircraft, which can fly where and when he wants to, frequently to and from smaller airfields that are not regularly served by any maintenance facility, poses the challenge of keeping flightability and maintainability updated. Long journeys, overnight stops, and remote airports where maintenance support is not ready to cope with a particular need may render a late takeoff or even cancel a flight. Before scheduling a flight, monitoring maintenance requirements is the best solution to avoid surprises. This video will get you, pilot or owner, an extended view of some procedures that must be timely carried out to suit maintenance requirements. The procedures contained in this video should be used as a means of demonstrating how to properly accomplish the job. Remember that only qualified personnel are authorized to carry out maintenance procedures, as stated in regulations. Be sure to comply with your local regulatory authority. Electrical Power Supply Connection Turn the GPU on. Adjust the GPU output voltage to 28 volts. Turn off the GPU. Open the airplane power supply receptacle door. Connect the GPU cable to the airplane power supply receptacle. Turn on the GPU. Turn on the batteries. The avail indication on the GPU button comes on if the GPU voltage is between 25 volts and 29 volts. The advisory message GPU connected is also displayed. Press the GPU button. The avail indication goes off and the end use indication comes on. Electrical power supply disconnection. Press the GPU button. The end use indication goes off and the avail indication comes on. Turn off the batteries. Turn off the GPU. The avail indication goes off. Disconnect the GPU cable from the airplane power supply receptacle. Close the airplane power supply receptacle door. Engine oil servicing. The engine oil is checked as necessary. To check the level, open the proper access cover and check the side glass. Check the indication between minimum and maximum marks and refer to the table. To add oil, remove the filler cap. Add the necessary quantity of the approved oil. Install the filler cap. Make sure the cap is correctly installed and lock securely. <music> Hydraulic servicing. With at least one engine operating, Check if the hydraulic system pressure is between 2800 PSI and 3100 PSI on the MFD Synoptic page. Shut down the engine and monitor the hydraulic system pressure gradually falls, less than 100 PSI per second. When the hydraulic system pressure starts falling abruptly, almost 1000 PSI per second, the value displayed at the moment the pressure started to abruptly fall is the accumulator precharge pressure. If the hydraulic system pressure was above 1200 psi when the pressure started to fall abruptly, the accumulator precharge pressure is within the specified limits. If the hydraulic system pressure was below 12,000 psi when the pressure started to fall abruptly, the nitrogen servicing is necessary. Contact maintenance personnel for servicing. Cycle the emergency parking brake handle 
until the message emergency brake low pressure is displayed in order to depressurize the emergency parking brake accumulator. Open the hydraulic system fluid level indicator access door. Check the fluid level indicator. Make sure the blue diaphragm of the fluid indicator is within the green mark. If the blue diaphragm is outside the green mark, contact maintenance personnel for hydraulic fluid servicing. Close the hydraulic system fluid level indicator access door. Hydraulic system depressurization. Open the circuit breakers start contactor 1 2 auxiliary control and put a circuit breaker ring and tag on each one of them. Make sure the hydraulic pressure is lower than 100 psi on the MFD. Cycle the emergency parking brake handle until the message emergency brake low pressure is displayed in order to depressurize the emergency parking brake accumulator. Hydraulic fluid servicing. Remove the filler cap. Install the auxiliary hose of the hydraulic reservoir servicing unit to the fill port. Operate the hand pump with an approved hydraulic fluid until the reservoir level indicator shows full. Remove the auxiliary hose from the fill port. Install the cap on the fill port. Close the access door. Hydraulic accumulator servicing. Remove the cap from the refill valve. Install a high pressure servicing regulator on the nitrogen cylinder. Connect the hose to the refill valve. Open the cylinder valve and, with the pressure regulator valve, adjust the pressure as given in the chart. Stop the nitrogen supply when you get the pressure shown in the pressure gauge. Close the cylinder valve. Wait 10 minutes and check the nitrogen pressure on the pressure gauge. Make sure the pressure is as given in the chart. Close the refill valve. Do an inspection of the refill valve for leakage. Install the cap. Close the access door.